serving our community, the Salvation Army Tidewater Area Command Advisory Board agreed to pursue a grant for development of our Ray and Joan Croc Corps Community Center. Neighboring cities knew what it would mean to have a Croc Center, and so competition for the project was stiff, as Troy would have you know that. For many good reasons, the advisory board ultimately selected the Broad Creek area of Norfolk for the location, and so began a great partnership between the city and the Salvation Army. The road we've traveled since then has been long and at times grueling, but in the end it's been extremely rewarding for a number of reasons, and that's why Anthony and the city manager are both smiling today. It's been rewarding for the friendships that have ensued, for the positive impact we know the center will have on thousands of young people for many years to come, for the satisfaction of seeing our community come together yet again around a project that will transform a large an important part of our city, as Bruce Smith mentioned a moment ago. Along the way, many people and organizations have played necessary and important roles to bring us to this point. Of course, the Salvation Army Board and staff, the Croc Foundation, members of the business community, like Josh Darden and Frank Batten, Jr., the Vice Mayor, Anthony Burford, the Hampton Roads Community Foundation, and the Batten Foundation, along with the Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority, and the city of Norfolk. All of these and more have, are responsible for this achievement and many of you. And so on behalf of the citizens of Norfolk and the grateful city, thanks go to each and every one of you for everything you have done to bring a Croc Center to Norfolk and to Hampton Roads. A total of $28 million was raised from the community to support this project. That's an amazing accomplishment. Just to give you a little perspective, the total cost to construct Waterside, including the marina and its expansion, was $27.8 million. And at $84 million, the total cost to the Croc Center, inclusive of the endowment, far exceeds the $52 million investment, $52 million investment to build Nauticus. And so it is no exaggeration to say that once again, Norfolk has demonstrated that, that it is a city that continues to succeed in ways far greater than is reasonably, reasonable to expect for a city of our modest means. And so you have to ask the question, how can this be? The answer is that Norfolk's many achievements from revitalizing downtown and Ghent and Berkeley and East Ocean View and yes, Broad Creek, to developing a Croc Center and more is because we have been blessed with generations of citizens who love our old seaport town and who believe passionately in the value of public and community service. And no one demonstrates this value any better than Josh Dart. The son of a former Norfolk mayor, through hard work and determination, Josh rose to become one of Virginia's leading businessmen. And over the years, he has never been too busy when it comes to his city. And he has given generously, generous amounts of time and resources to numerous causes former rector of the University of Virginia. One of his lifelong beliefs is that education is the key to success. Josh believes this so strongly that he, along with Frank Batten Sr., established what today is known as the Access College Foundation. Originally serving Norfolk High Schools, the foundation has grown to where it now serves all high schools in Southampton Roads, and to date has helped tens of thousands of high school seniors attend and graduate from college. More recently, Josh has given his leadership and support to our efforts to plan and construct a new central library. That's the Colonel Samuel L. Slover Memorial Library. It is another major project that would not be happening without his leadership. More examples of his contributions to the city, the region, and the state could be noted. But let it suffice to say that nearly every major community-based project initiated in this city has benefited, has benefited from the steady and the quiet guidance and support of Josh Darden. The reason we are able to break ground today on the only Ray and Joan Croc Center in Virginia is due to the leadership and support Josh has given to the critical fundraising portion of the project. When planning for the Croc Center got underway in earnest, it was made clear early on that if the fundraising effort was to succeed, it would require leadership, 
from someone known and respected by everyone in the community, and that someone was Josh Darden. Josh believed that a real need exists for this kind of facility, and willingly, well, not so willingly, but, but finally accepted, <laughs> accepted the invitation to lead a campaign to raise $28 million from the community. In a booming economy, $28 million is an ambitious figure. But in a struggling economy, wow. Josh led an effort that succeeded in raising more than $17 million during the private phase of the fundraising. And I know some of those folks that Josh reached out and touched are here today just to make sure that this thing is actually going to happen. The remaining $11 million was secured a year later during the public fundraising phase, successfully concluding a major fundraising campaign and completing the only requirement for the Crocs Center. There's only one person in this community who has the fortitude and the respect uh, to have pulled this off, and that is Josh. And so Josh, you know, time, I mean, even if we had time, there aren't enough words to say thank you for all that you've done for us and how you pulled this, you know, pulled this together. And so thanks. Um, I've, the council has asked me to prepare a proclamation, which I'm going to read to you. It's we declared, you know, Josh Darden Day in the city. We could say, we could say a year. It could be the decade. I mean, it it could go on and on. So let me just read it. Quick. This is the formal part. It reads: Whereas Joshua P. Darden has sacrificed his time, talent, and financial resources as chairman of the Salvation Army Tidewater Area Command, Ray and Joan Crock Corps Community Center and Downey Campaign. Whereas he and his family have personally donated $2 million to the Crock Endowment Campaign. It's leading from the front. Whereas his efforts have resulted in the planning, design, and construction of a $28 million state-of-the-art Crocs Corps Community Center to be located at the intersection of Ballantyne Boulevard and East Princess Anne Road. Whereas Mr. Darton has led the Hampton Roads philanthropic community by example and advocacy to help raise billions of dollars from numerous worthy causes. Whereas he will be honored with a commemorative groundbreaking ceremony for his tireless work on behalf of the Ray and Joan Crock Corps Community Center on Monday, October 31st, 2011 at, at the Salvation Army Tidewater Area Command. Now therefore I, Paul Frame, Mayor of the City of Norfolk, to hereby proclaim October 31st, 2011 as Joshua P. Darden Day in the City of Norfolk and urge all citizens to join me in this special observance. Josh.